Chris, stop playing around. Time for makeup. Okay, okay, okay. I just love my new shoes. Welcome back to the garage. We had you fooled, didn't we? Thought it was the new Superman movie with us running up and down walls and ceilings, but no, of course not really, even though it did look pretty real. Today, it's all about these souls. We're gonna tell you what's so special about them, and for this, we've invited our expert in the field. He is the material developer at Continental. Please welcome Konstantin Efimov. Welcome, Konstantin. Hi, Chris. Nice great to have you. Great being here. So maybe you can tell us, what is the difference between the soles we have on and let's say regular soles on, on other shoes? The difference is uh, quite clear. The continental outsoles have a 30% more traction than the regular outsole. Well, 30% sounds good, but what does this actually give us? What benefits does this give us? Uh, first of all, it makes your run much more safer, even uh, during the run on the slippery road. Mm -hmm. But it also makes you faster, mm -hmm. because uh, with the higher traction you have less slip, and you're able to transfer your forces and much more efficient. So this is really interesting for athletes, I suppose. It's very interesting for athletes, and it's the uh, reason why three marathon weight records were set using continental outsoles. Look at that. Who was the last record holder? Denis Kimeto, oh. 2014. I didn't know that. How do you actually measure that? I brought force measurement device with me to see the difference. I love experiments. Let's do it. All right. We take uh, two very similar shoes mm -hmm. with the same outsole pattern design. One shoe is equipped with continental rubber and second shoe is a regular one. And we need to put some weights on it. I'm just gonna show them. Here we go. So yeah. we need to wait to press the shoe on the surface and to increase the footprint of the shoe. Ah, the surface. Okay. All right. Then pull gently, and you read the value of the device. Mm. So I see about uh, eight, uh, eight to nine Newton. Okay. Now let's do the same with the Continental shoe. Okay. Same weights. Same weights. Ah, uh, you see right away, you need more power. Yes. So I'd say that's about 12 Newton. That's what I'm talking about. We need more forces to put the shoe with continental outsole, meaning that continental rubber is a higher friction than regular one. Very convincing. So um, you've been working together with, with Adidas now for quite a while, huh? About 10 yeah. years? We are working with Adidas uh, since about 10 years. Yeah. And, and what have you developed in that time? We developed uh, compounds which can be colored, and also we developed different designs for outdoor application and shoes for winter applications. And very important to know, non-marking outsoles. Non-marking. Okay, so this means rubber does not equal rubber. I mean, there's a big difference between, between the different compounds, right? Exactly, and this difference can be demonstrated on a very easy way. I've prepared here two rubber balls. Mm -hmm. Please have a closer look. Look the same to me. Yeah. Feel the same. And then let's drop the balls. Look at that. Yeah. What do you think? Which uh, compound uh, has a higher traction? I just say the one that kept on bouncing up and down. That's exactly the opposite. The compound with more damping has a higher traction. So we can put it in a nutshell, I guess, to say that the technology gives us 30% more grip, which exactly. enables us to run faster and increase the safety. Exactly. I know how it works. I hope you do too. I'm going to start running tomorrow, and I'm going to try to set the new world record. So now we gotta act like we just won the marathon against Dennis. <laughs> On three, mindset is all. One, two, three. That was so nice. <laughs> so thank you very much, My Konstantin, pleasure. for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the show, ladies and gentlemen, and it'd be great for you to join us again next time. Until then, keep your grip or get your grip. See you then.